Hi students, here is Dr. Vijay along with Dr. Hemant from Doc Tutorials. We are the faculty of medical oncology at Doc Tutorials. Uh, and we have uh, today with us is Dr. Athira, who has secured her 12th rank in NEET SS in medical oncology. Hi, Athira. Good evening, sir. Hi, sir. Hi. So let us know where you are from, what is your uh, MBBS, MD backgrounds on? Okay, sir. I hail from Kerala, sir. I have done my UG and MD in radiation oncology from JIPMA, sir. And post MD, I have worked as a non-academic SR in medical oncology for a few months. So I think that is the catch here again. Uh, so how good is working as a non-academic SR before you appear for exams? Okay, so basically from my MD days, I had some fascination towards medical oncology. And I was lucky enough to get the opportunity to work in a medical oncology setup. I was working in JIPMA, sir, where I was working under some of the eminent faculty who were always very supportive and encouraging. And uh, even the seniors and bunch of colleagues I worked with and the exposure I had, it made it even stronger for me that I wanted to pursue this further. So I would say that it was exposure and those interactions were the ones which motivated me to take this up further and give the exams this year. Yes. Uh, I have uh, worked with Dr. Prashant Ganeshan. He was my mentor as well uh, yes. before he shifted to cancer in uh, Jipma. Yes. Uh, I know he's an excellent teacher. Uh, I know Dr. Biswajit and Dr. Smita ma'am as well. Uh, yes. Excellent yes. faculty at Jipma and probably just uh, having some interaction with them uh, yes, even probably during your radiation onco period, probably you would have interacted with them. Uh, it just uh, their fascination and the passion for oncology, it is just uh, readily visible. I think uh, being in the right place at the right time is also important that exactly. you had the opportunity of working in Jimmer and working with them. And that definitely probably pushed you to medical oncology for sure. Yes, uh, that is great to know. Uh, so but uh, yes, you had a radiation oncology background, worked in medical oncology, because uh, I strongly feel that working in medical oncology for a few months is important for two things. One, to understand the subject. Two, is probably you get an idea if you really like the field or not, because this is a difficult field. It is not an easy field to go through, not like probably neurology or cardiology, not that it's a, those are easy fields, but medical oncology, you need to be a tough person at times. Uh, chances that it will bring you down, burnout is probably more compared to this field. And uh, working in medical oncology is very important. So uh, what are your thoughts on that specific aspect? Yes, sir. Uh, what you said, I agree to whatever you have said. And since I have done radiation oncology, I already had some exposure to the oncology patients and that setup. So I remember even from my initial days of radiation oncology, it was difficult for me to come in terms with what I was dealing with. Since we have been exposed and trained that way, yes, when I came out from MD, it was a little easier. But again, coming back to medical oncology and start when I started seeing the hematology cases, BMT and all, it again became a little difficult. So that training, I think it really gives you that edge and idea what you are into. Right. And it doesn't come very easily. It takes some time for you to adjust to the surroundings and to know how to deal with it because it yeah, yeah, it's it's really yeah, and probably once you pass that period that you have that understanding, I think the passion with medical oncology is never going to die. That is how fascinating it is. Uh, so uh, probably yes, because you are interested in medical oncology, but how and when did you decide on preparing? How much time did you have and how did you go through that? Uh, so basically when I joined... Yes, non-academic SR. I just wanted that exposure for the hematology part and all. And I wanted to see whether this really suits me. That was the purpose of joining. And I was lucky enough. I got placed at an institute where I had a very good exposure. I was really lucky. And I consider that a turning point. And people, everyone, the faculty, seniors, everyone was very supportive and encouraging. And there I was actually enjoying the work. And work was a little hectic. I was actually enjoying the work. I was not giving much thought about exams. I was taking it slow, basically. Then I felt because of all the neat pattern change, eligibility confusion, I felt I should not delay it further. So I took a break from the job and I actually started preparing for the exam from October 2021, sir. So, Great. That is just three months. And in three yes, months, yes. how did you do it? <laughs> yeah, I had joined the doc tutorials around that time, September, I think the LITS series I've joined. So I was following the test series. 
and i came home in october and uh, that's when i started reading i think i started yes. with anthropology yes i just went to the hatsi anthropology i started following your lectures sir both your lectures and along with lectures i was following the light test series the initial two months i could follow it towards the end i think i lost track of it so i was following my own time table so initial two months i was sticking to that schedule and i was following the light test series and uh, i was using the standard textbooks for specific topics topic specific reading i mean i couldn't read anything page to page i was using a standard textbook and i was using the guidelines also so nccn and smo and few of the review articles so videos were like very helpful in the sense whatever i have learned from the ward or clinics whatever i've been seeing I mean, gave me a better idea and clarity it was like connecting all the dots and it helped me consolidate things better we all know that oncology keeps changing so every guideline everything keeps changing like in very so very fast so in a way the lectures helped me to consolidate and know about the recent advances and that is where the lectures came in sir i was predominantly depending on the test series and the lectures sir i couldn't do the question bank fully i didn't have the time because it was just hardly right. even after two months so yes sir Yes, uh, so that's what when we were preparing the videos, even we were, we were like of thought as what exactly should we kind of convey, but we always try to see that we can bring the clinics to a platform here where we basically describe for especially those students who are not having an opportunity to work in medical oncology either due to bond, either due to COVID or any other reason that the exposure of actual medical oncology is not there. We try to see if we kind of get it on the uh, platform. So that is what we try to do. Uh, that's good, Arthira. Uh, it's only three months, and you were able to prepare, prepare consolidate things, things and give it back in your exam. So, what would you suggest for the upcoming exam? I know uh, you also know that uh, the pattern is going to change. So, what is your thought on that? Because of the new pattern, probably I might not be the right person to come in, sir. If it's the old person, sir, yes. we just <laughs> wanted to know how preparation is supposed to be when it comes to an exam. not just the pattern ha huh. basically definitely whether it be medicine or oncology the work experience matters sir whenever you are reading something it's like the work experience what you have done your ward and clinics and all that comes to help you can correlate things better be it medicine general medicine or oncology i feel so work experience yes if people can get that oncology exposure maybe during their md days or post md if they can get i would say well and good and reading i think first our basics have to be strong no matter what our basics have to be strong and going through each and every standard textbook doesn't work here does not at all work because you for a single topic you will have to refer to multiple multiple books guidelines and articles so that is where in some guidance is needed and that is where in uh, platforms like this doc tutorials come for help so i would say like you have to have a base on which you have to build on so you can't read everything because now as they have given the dates in june i don't know how much time is also there for the neat so you can't go on reading everything so you have to have a platform where you know what is to be read then you have to do your self preparation keep your basics strong and definitely revise sir revision yeah that is more important i think uh, in, in, more than the pattern the way you yes. prepare things is more going to make the change yes sir without revise yeah. you can't on call yeah. and all you can recollect yeah. all, all of the students have constantly kind of enforce this fact that revision is very important you need yeah. to kind of uh, revise again and again so yes. that things are kept in mind Uh, that is what i i was doing during my dm vijay was my one year junior so i would find it very difficult to remember the staging uh, some specular classification and all and i would drag vijay and his other colleagues to the for we had a forum room uh, and i would end up teaching them in the evening so that is how i try to remember things and that has helped me in a long way and probably having a probably a close knit team of uh, students who are preparing together i think that is something uh, which has helped me and probably everyone else should uh, do as well so sticking together going through the same path you have somebody along with you uh, especially during the times of difficulty we are there as faculty but having your own people is also important and uh, thank you atira for joining us today 
uh, we wish you good luck thank you well definitely you should get a seat of your choice and we are there to always help you during your journey in medical oncology because uh, the journey doesn't end at you getting the seat but it just starts with here and uh, welcome to medical oncology beautiful thank subject you. i'm pretty sure you're going to do great work there thanks for uh, all the guidance definitely grateful for all the guidance <laughs> thank, thank you, you.